The saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished. A 79-year-old grandmother says she tried to help two men with car problems and treated them to a meal at Whataburger. And in return, she says they choked her and stole her car. Now that at least one man has been arrested, Garrett Berger sat down with her to hear her story. It was a Sunday morning and Joan Baskin had just grabbed her mail when a man approached her. And he said he didn't know how to work his car. He had a tire trouble. Baskin, who had driven to the mailboxes, says she loaned him a jack. At some point, a second guy drove up and they tried to fix the car. I thought, these are poor guys and I never thought of anything else. Baskin took them to her house to grab some bricks out of her yard to help with the repair efforts. And she even brought them on a trip to Whataburger, where she treated them to breakfast. I spoke Spanish with them. And I thought, they're just guys. I learned my lesson. Things turned sour after they got back to her neighborhood. Baskin said she was looking in the back of one of their cars for something when it happened. All of a sudden, I felt his arm around my neck. And I said, what's going on here? And I said, hey, hey, really loud. And then I screamed help about six or seven times. Of course, no one heard me. Baskin doesn't remember how the attack stopped. And I said, where's my car to myself? The car was gone already. They had taken off in my car. However, according to an arrest affidavit, they had also been captured on surveillance video during that Whataburger trip. So when police recovered Baskin's car the next day, an 18-year-old Jose Carvajal was ID'd as the driver. Police said he had the same hat and distinctive forearm tattoo as seen in the surveillance video. And investigators say he gave a full confession to the robbery. Due to Baskin's age, Carvajal is facing an aggravated robbery charge. He's still here in the Bear County Jail on that and other charges. San Antonio police say that investigators are still working the case and trying to identify the second suspect. Live at the Bear County Jail, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.